Hello everyone, my name's Chris and welcome to another in my occasional videos on Oxford locations and their place in the Mars universe. The location I'll be talking about today is Merton College. Across the Morse, Lewis and Endeavour series, Merton College has been used 10 times. Five times in the Endeavour series, three times in the Lewis series and twice in the Morse series. Merton College was renamed Lonsdale College in the Endeavour pilot episode. Lonsdale was the college Endeavour Morse attended as a young man. Merton College stands adjacent to Merton Street, while on the opposite side of the college it is adjacent to Merton Field and Dead Man's Walk. As I said previously, Merton College has been used 10 times in the Morse universe, 5 times in the Endeavour series, the pilot episode, Lazaretto, Sway, Trove, Zanana. In the Lewis series, three times. That's the episodes Old School Ties, What Lies Tangled and Your Sudden Death Question. Twice in the Morse series, The Service of All the Dead and The Inferno Serpent. Merton College, like most, but not all, Oxford Colleges, is perfect as a location. Merton College has barely changed over the last hundred years. The last major restoration work was during the 19th century, and this was to Merton College Chapel. As I said earlier, Merton College stands on the cobbled Merton Street. Merton Street itself has been used many, many times as a location in the three Morse Universe series. I've already created a video about Merton Street and its place in the Morse Universe. You can find this on my website morselewisendeavour.com or on YouTube. Ken Coombs, who was Kevin Whateley's stand-in during the filming of the Lewis series, was very kind and sent me this delightful photo of him, that's Ken on the right of Kevin, breaking for lunch and leaving Merton College onto Merton Street. Before we enter Merton College, I thought you would like to see, at least from the outside, the beautiful, wonderful Merton College Chapel. So, here we are in Merton College, specifically the front quad of Merton College. And like Merton Street, the front quad is, in places, cobbled. We get a good bird's eye view of the front quad during the Morse episode The Infernal Serpent. As we'll see, the front quad has been used numerous times as a location. The young Endeavour visits Lonsdale College to speak to Dr Rowan Stroming. While in the front quad, he meets Alexander Rees, a fellow student when Endeavour attended the college. We meet an older Alexander Rees, who is now a master of a college, in the Morse episode, The Last Enemy. Now, as I pan the camera around, I rest on the entrance to Merton Hall. The scenes we are watching are people gathering for the funeral service of Dr. Deer, who was the first victim in the episode Inferno Serpent. We now see uh, Hathaway coming out of Merton Hall. The Hall of Merton College was originally built in the second half of the 13th century, which makes it the oldest college hall in Oxford. Here we see Hathaway heading towards that little archway which separates the hall from the sacristy of the chapel of Merton College. Now we're heading to this lovely archway that abuts the Merton College Hall. It also separates the front quad from what is the Fellows Quad. Merton College, or to give it its full name, the House or College of Scholars of Merton in the University of Oxford has had 
with former alumni and academics, five Nobel laureates. J.R.R. Tolkien was a professor of English language and literature at Merton, and also who attended was one Liz Truss, who of course only served for barely a month as Prime Minister in the UK. I don't know if this is something that Merton College would like to uh, brag about. And here we see one of the characters, Diane Baxter, arriving for the quiz, which is the backdrop to the episode, Your Sudden Death Question. We see Fellows Garden briefly in the Endeavour episode, Zanana, where the girl sings Schubert's Ave Maria. Now we head back through the arch into the front quad and we'll go towards this double arch that takes us to St Albans Quad and also it's where the entrance is, or at least one of the entrances to the T.S. Eliot Theatre. In the background to the left, you can see the stairs that lead into the T.S. Eliot Theatre. We can now see them again in the episode The Infernal Serpent. And then shortly we'll see the characters Matthew Copley Barnes, played by the wonderful Geoffrey Palmer, and also the character Dr. Julian Deere, played by David Neal, leaving what is the entrance to the T.S. Eliot Theatre. They'll come down the stairs into St Albans Quad. In the Morse episode, The Infernal Serpent, we see Morse and Lewis walking through St Albans Quad. They're there to investigate the death of Julian Deere. It's also where Morse hears the music coming from one of the rooms. And that's, of course, then he finds the conductor is his friend, Jake Normanton. We're going back to the front quad through those double arches, which you can see in this scene from the Infernal Serpent. The character Matthew Copley Barnes has forgotten his notes, so has to go back to get them as he's debating uh, the character Dr. Julian Deere in this episode. So we're back to the front quad. In episodes of Lewis, uh, Morse and Endeavour, there are times where they'll start a scene in one college and you'll end up in a different college. Here, they're walking through from Fellows Quad through to the Front Quad. But then, in the next scene, they're walking through from St Albans Quad back towards the Front Quad. So they could end up meeting each other. <laughs> and then to confuse things even further, as we see them here walking towards Front Quad, they now end up on the other side of Merton College at uh, what's known as Mob Quad. It's always very interesting when they do this. 
It's obviously done because the particular location within the college is better for a particular scene. And now they're heading into Mob Quad. Now I'm filming at the back of Merton College, between the Grove Building and Dead Man's Walk, and also Merton Field. Now, with the Grove Building on the left, and on the right is the library, we're looking towards uh, the chapel of Merton College, and what you can see in the background is uh, part of the south transept. Now just beyond the garden area is Grove Walk and the building in the background is part of Corpus Christi College. In this lovely garden is a beautifully carved bench was the Latin phrase sedis honoris, which roughly translates as seat or bench of honour. From that archway on the right, we'll see Hathaway and the character Sebastian Anderson, played by Alistair Mackenzie, coming out and sitting on that previously mentioned bench. That little archway connects this garden from a uh, mob quad. Here's another look at that lovely bench in this very lovely garden. Here we are back at St Albans Quad and we've come to the end of our journey. I hope you've liked this video not just because of the connections to the Morse Lewis Endeavour series, but also just having a glimpse of the lovely Merton College and as one of the more attractive colleges in Oxford. Hopefully one day, if you haven't already done so, you will get the chance to visit. If you enjoyed the video, please like and if you find the time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my website as well. If you want to watch my video about Merton Street and its connections to the Morse Universe, you'll find it on YouTube or you'll find a link for it on my website morselewisendeavour.com and it's under one of the top headings at the top of the page, My Films of Oxford. So please check that out, plus also when you get the chance, check out other videos on YouTube and also other posts on my website. So until my next video, my next post, uh, take care of yourselves mentally as well as physically and I'll see you again soon.